a boom! <laughs> Welcome back to Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. This is my friend Rodell of Typhoon Adobo on YouTube. Today on the channel, we're talking about a big upgrade that I've done to my Coachman Beyond. I have a 2021 Coachman Beyond that's built on a Ford Transit body. Uh, mine's a 2020. But guess what? This is not actually mine. I know. It looks like it. Looks like it. This one belongs to Typhoon Adobo, <laughs> Rodell right here. Um, so yours is, what's yours? 2020. Okay. Uh, 22C. 22C. Coachman Beyond. Yeah, and it's built like I think on a 2019. 2019 chassis. There you go. Rear wheel drive. Right, but guess what? We're gonna talk about mine. What? <laughs> Which is right here. And this is the 2021 built on the 2020 Ford Transit body. It's all wheel drive, etc., etc. And now it's getting the it's it's getting like the biggest upgrade that I've done so far. I actually put a 360 bird's eye view camera system in here. All and, the way. And Rodell somebody's, helped me. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. gonna be watching this van 24/7. <laughs> Absolutely. So Rodell helped me. Some other folks helped us out. We're gonna talk about that right now. Let's get into it. By the way, back there is Florence and Lola. So Florence is Rodell's wife. Lola, I don't know who she is. I don't know how she wound up over here. Uh, did you guys, where'd you guys find Lola? Somewhere on the road? Well, I, I think I think she's the one who texted the address. Oh, right. <laughs> so we're all hanging out. We're doing a little mini meetup. But um, I did actually go out to Tallahassee. I really mm -hmm. do want to thank you, Rodell, because you no spent problem. like two days and your friend Chris helping me with this anytime Hank anytime. Um, so first of all we got this system from RVS which is Rearview Safety Corporation they make um, these 360 systems uh, co for commercial, commercial use fleets yeah so we've seen them used in school buses all kinds of work vans ambulance uh, ambulances and stuff like that and they're probably in they're probably already in some uh, RVs and Class B vans Absolutely, that are out there. Yes, there yeah, so big shout out to those guys. That's how we got the system. I did spend some time looking at different things. I'm gonna talk to you guys about everything, but I wanna show you, this is the, uh, this is basically the system here on this monitor and you can see Rodell uh, pulling up there and coming in. This is the big difference of the RVS, I think over other people's, other than it being in, uh, industrial or commercial grade. Um, it's got bird's eye view. You want me to go walk through? Right. Yeah, you can walk around it. Let's uh, show people there. Okay. So you can see me, you can see a little bit of me right here in the corner. You can see Rodell coming out and he's walking around. He's closing the door. So these aren't absolutely perfect, but it gives you a good idea. See, he just disappeared, came back in. He's gonna disappear a little bit there, come back in and he's right behind me now, right? And he's walking to the front. Do a little dance in the front. Let's see what we could see. Obviously, he's a little bit, you can see someone's there. You can't, you can't really see his legs. So, um, that is a big difference. And also, I just want to show you guys before we get into this. So, you right now, you see the arrow is on, uh, it's showing down. So, this camera is set up to default to back. And that's the front. And I'm using the remote here. And I put it to the front so you can set it up for the front. You can also go uh, left. So, this is the left side. And you can go right, and it can show you the right side. There you go. Um, I prefer to have it uh, behind me and showing me what's behind me all the time. So I think when it comes to, um, like if people want to know why we chose this, like I said, these guys sent it to us, but I was looking at these systems. I really wanted the bird's There's eye view. view. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted something we can run all the time, which we do on this one. That is correct. So yeah. pretty much the setup for this one, uh, is when you turn the ignition on you have the option of doing that the mm. the unit will turn on at the same time right but when me and Hank discussing about this um since it's a uh, camper van and you know you slip in it mm -hmm. you want it to be secured and have you know a video recording 24 7. Right. so right now that's the setup that he got right now yeah so i'm gonna pass the camera to you and i'm gonna come around we're gonna kind of do this a little bit uh backwards for everyone so we're just showing you guys right here in the beginning of this video where exactly we have the system so you guys you just saw the monitor the monitor is up there right 
And then over here is the actual system. You can connect to use, it's got a couple of USBs that you can connect to it. Um, this is mostly for like doing the update, right? You can't transfer images, no. the images to that. Or the videos, yeah. And if you see these SD card slots here, that's, you've got three up here and uh, one down here, and then there's a SIM slot. So you can actually, I believe, put in a SIM and then this can communicate back to like if the headquarters, if it was a, 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 a van fleet for some that commercial purposes. That is correct. Purposes. So when I spoke to RVS before when trying to gather some data or information on how to install it, they said that those ports will be activated soon under later projects that you can put a SIM mm -hmm. card or not SIM card, excuse me. It's a, you can put a SD or a, yeah, a SIM card for a cell phone data. Yeah. And you can use it as a hotspot as well at the same time, but that is not um, working yet on this unit. Yes. So, you know, right now, if you want to get this recording, these uh, the recordings off of here, you have to pop these out and copy them. It's easy enough to do. It's in a PC format. So mm -hmm. if you're doing Mac, you just have to get a certain software and you can, you can uh, save the file over. So this is it. Initially, though, when we did this, we put it behind here, right, Rodell? Yes. So we put it behind this panel. We, we, we put it behind here because we thought that it's going to be a, uh, a secured location for mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But uh, then again, uh, since it's our first time installing this unit, when the brainstorming comes and uh, Kyle, uh, is it Kyle to yeah. help you? Mm -hmm. uh, they had a better idea of moving outside. Yeah, to because you have to access it. So if, the way we had it here, you really couldn't access it behind this panel. And then also, if this is running all the time, it gets hot. That is correct. So if it's out here, you can actually, when this, when it, the van's cool mm -hmm. down, it's staying cool. Um, so that's why we wound up putting it here. We needed to be able to access it. So we, we just wound up moving it yeah. over to this. And so basically, um, we, I haven't permanently attached it to there yet. I think that's probably where it's gonna be. But we've got wiring that's coming up here and going through all of this and actually still running behind here because up top, and I'll show you, up top there's a, a grommet that's there for putting, uh, what is it, ambulance lights? Ambulance lights wiring, yeah. Yeah, so that comes down into the van and then that stuff is basically, we drilled a hole and we put it over here. So that's the setup from here and that we thought was the best way for us to do this. Absolutely, to access everything. Yes. So, um, and then let's go outside and show people outside now. We're kind of going, like I said, in reverse. So, 360, you got to have four cameras. That's correct. Right? So, yeah. where do you want to start? Uh, the so, back? Let's start with the side here. Side? Okay. Okay, passenger side. We yeah. put Here's in, the camera. We put in the middle of the van mm -hmm. from the tail of the van to the front of the van. Mm -hmm. Dead that was end the middle. Yeah. yeah. And these cameras, as you can see, they're pointing down a little bit. Yeah. They have grommets underneath it. Yeah. And you can stack, in, stack, stack them up depending on what angle you want them to point down to. Yeah. Uh, Hank can uh, give you more details on, yeah. on, on that. And in case, I know people are going to want to know price of this <laughs> system. It's about 1500 somewhere between 1500 and 2000 bucks mm -hmm. for this system. There's... there's RVS has a whole bunch of these. A lot, yeah. So this particular one, I'm going to put in like the around $1,600 category, maybe mm -hmm. more, maybe less, mm -hmm. depending on what's going on now. We've had it for a couple of months. Um, so the housing and everything, I think the construction of it is pretty good. It's solid. The cameras yeah. are solid. It the has, wiring. Yeah, it has a casing. Yeah. So if you guys are wondering how did we run this wire, mm -hmm. there's, a, uh, there's a time pressure for us to mm -hmm. install this one. And... Mm -hmm supposed to be it's going to be run inside but since all the cabinets already been installed mm -hmm. we had we went ahead and run all the wirings uh, on top of the roof on the roof yeah they're secured yeah. properly yeah and then uh we went through the firewall from the from and the i had front. i don't think i said this here but i went to indiana where rvs has a base uh, i think they're based in new york but they have a headquarters in indiana as well and i actually went there and the guys took a look at everything and they were they were surprised that we, we did so well we were, on our own. <laughs> yeah, we were able to install it. <laughs> yeah, um, I definitely recommend that you guys get professional installers. Mm -hmm. We did it ourselves because we wanted to make a video of it, and you know if like Experience. how much do you know about it if you don't actually do Absolutely. it yourself? Yeah. Um, then also it was like a little bit more affordable to do it ourselves. Yeah. It's going to cost you at least like a thousand bucks and up to get this installed. 
Um, but when they looked at it, they thought we did good. Now I'm going to go over some places where we messed up. Mm -hmm. So if you do this professionally, you'll get it done better. One of the places we messed up is on this camera. <laughs> it's a little wonky. It's a little bit off, but we still have a good image. That's correct. We can, I'll, I'll work on straightening this up. I might even 3d print something because when, when you run into a problem, you want to get this out as much as you can. And you don't want to get too much of stuff from the vehicle mm -hmm. in the way. Um, so RVS recommended we put it up there, but we were getting too much of the vehicle. That's the first, yeah. that's the first uh, installation location that we chose last it was up time. Top. Yeah. But we cannot calibrate properly because we're seeing too much of this side. Yeah, if you have a flat nose van, which this is kind of flat nose, but it's not like a lot of these vans, like school buses, are flat like that. So you think a Pro Master will yeah. fit on that one? A Pro properly? Master, you probably want to put it right up top, mm, okay. and you'll, you'll be able to. But you might still want to bump it out a little bit, mm -hmm. right? So, so we wound up going with down here, which it still works, as you guys can see. And I'll roll in footage of me driving around and all of that stuff. Got all that kind of footage that I can roll in for you guys. So, that's the front, right? Any comments on that, Rodell? I know. Okay, so then here's our second side, which is parallel to that one there, right? Do we have any issues here? No issues on this, this is one. The other one. No issues. The other one is kind of harder to install because of the awning. Okay. Yeah, the but wiring. Just want to let you guys know that you don't need to be in the mm -hmm. center of the van itself. You don't. No. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to. Yeah. Um, Hank will show you guys how we did the back portion of it. Yeah. And if you're looking at the monitor, it seems that it seems like that the camera is on the center, but it's not. Yes. <laughs> so you, when when you go to your calibration, you have a lot of room to play around and uh, manipulate things. So back here now, um, as Rodell was just saying, this is where this is the location of that we chose to put our camera right there. And the reason for that is there's already a backup camera in the center, and we didn't want to go um, over that or, or above it. Yeah. But you could, if we 3D printed something and we had the right thing, we could put it right in the center of that light. Yes. But it still works fine here, as you guys could see. Um, and that was relatively easy, and we just have that wire running back, right? Yes, that is yeah. correct. Yep. Okay, so um, installation, any like tips you have for folks out there, or pros and cons of this? What stuff did we run into? Well, probably about the installation side of it, if you are... Um, getting this kind of system uh, like after the build mm -hmm. then you need to plan ahead where you're going to run your wires mm -hmm. you can write underneath the van if you'd like mm -hmm. to or you can write above or on top of the roof if you'd like to yeah. but a cleaner setup probably is before the build of the van yeah like you know the commercial yeah um, so coachman let's say for example right because this is a coachman yeah if coachman was installing this they'll get this a lot better oh yeah absolutely. because they get these vans as a shell uh -huh. and then they build it up from scratch so they could put everything where they Inside. need where yes. they need it to go yes. it's going to look right. a lot cleaner uh -huh. we had to like go oh no we're going to run we're going to punch holes in mm -hmm. here and do all of that kind of stuff and then run the risk that comes along with that so one thing i would say for the wiring um to make the controls work so that when i'm indicating um rvs recommends we use the headlights up front okay uh but we did it we used the we use the back lights okay. we use the tail lights so we use the indicator here and in there so we have wiring running under the chassis and i can show you guys that that's stuff that Carl did mm -hmm. and we have wires running under the chassis and then running into this tail light because this was easier to, to get into and then we have some running to this tail light as well um, so that way, when we indicate right, we're using that signal to, sh to have it show us the right side of the van. When we indicate left, we're using that signal to show us the left side of the van. So one thing I could tell you, once again, we did it, and we were trying to go for easy. It works, yep. except if you are like standing still or you go on the brake, then it's like flashes. So I'm going to run in. Do you want to go for a drive with me or something? Yeah, totally. Yeah. So we're going to go for a drive, and I'm going to show you guys this system in action. Let's do that right now. So we've got this we got this contraption here hooked up so that you guys could see this. This is what we see, right? So I want you guys to see that, but I've got something so I can run it side by side while we're driving. Uh, Rodell will be able to show you that, and then he can, he can look at me, and we can talk about it. So we are going to go for a drive, all right? And I just want to show everyone how... Um, easy this is now we've got backup here and it goes there 
on on this main thing but I can I can also I usually use my backup here now that's what I use all the time and watch I'm gonna go this I'm really gonna scare Rodell now I'm gonna go next to his van so that I could show everyone how this looks so just to see this is like the landing pad over here look at that we're driving close to look at there goes the other you can't see this yet Rodell I'm gonna show you you can't see the other van as we're driving past it so now it looks like a giant uh, compared to us and compared to what we're doing right but that's one of the things like at least with this you could be driving around I know we've got some stuff right there oh you can, can see you can see my boxes over there too um yeah I can see those boxes uh, I'm gonna back up here now all the images are not perfect but I could still see that's around me there's an object right yeah that there's an object there or that I'm clear of it or where I'm going like there's right now uh, trees behind me and stuff like that I could I can see those trees here I'm gonna go up here I'm still turning we're doing some complicated turning around and this is a big van big van so see right here we can see the tail edge of, um, of Rodell's beyond do you call your do you call your van a beyond or a transit oh I, know, I switch around what I call it all the time yeah sometimes yeah. transit yeah so here we go I'm gonna go now from the driver's side the left hand side and we can see what's going on here very clearly so now I'm gonna show you guys I'm standing still and I have my foot on the brake if I indicate where, where's my indicators that's not my indicators okay right there it's see it's flashing and that's because I'm on the brake if I so if I let go I'm indicating if I indicate left um, or right it's showing me right if I indicate left it's showing me see that so as I'm in traffic it's gonna show me what's there but the minute I go on the brake it does that flashing thing but if I'm not on that right it's not it's not a problem uh, it shows me that side of the van and really as I said before that's our fault what the RVS guys recommend is that you install, you hook it up to the headlight because then you don't have that pulse coming from... It's, it's a direct power. Yeah, from when you step on the, uh, from when you step on the brake. So we're going to go out now and do a little drive. Just a little drive. We'll go into town and we'll come back here. Open up my gate. The ga my gate is a good place to show you why we would want to have the bird's eye view. Right? So if, as you can see, my gate here, it's kind of, it's not super narrow. But you can obviously only get one of these things through there at a time. And when you're going through, you want to make sure, if you if you just look over here, Rodell, because I know you probably have a tough time seeing. Mm -hmm. Myself, can you see this camera? Oh, the, the monitor set no, up here? No, not, not the full. Okay, so as we're going through here, we're coming up on the gate there on the right-hand side, and we can see the posts on the left-hand side. And I could look at that. If you lean mm -hmm. over here, Rodell, you can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see where you are, like how close are you yep, to absolutely. another vehicle, you know, and those that's, are my radars. That's better relying on your uh, side mirrors. Yeah, so now we're going to go down, we're going to go for a drive here, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, and all of this is recording all the time, so for us as YouTube guys, mm -hmm. And by the way, Rodell has a YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel called Typhoon Adoba. Yes. That you all should check out and subscribe to. And Thank it's got you. some pretty good technical stuff on it. But as you're driving, you know, you, you're recording. So let's say you see something really cool. You know, there's a real, um, like a beautiful road you're on, or mm -hmm. a beautiful landscape or scenery. You can um, you can really you can record all of that and show it. So see now I'm indicating that I'm going to go left up here. It's all good. It's showing me the left side, but when I go on the brake, it starts flashing uh, between the left and the right side. Actually, that's what it's doing. It's pulsating over there. And so then we're doing a turn. But once you're under speed like we are right now, it doesn't really matter. So if I indicate that I'm going right. It shows me the right side and it shows me if there's any vehicles in my blind spot over there on the right side. If I indicate that I'm going left, it'll show me the left side of where we're driving, you know. Um, and if I take it off, it just goes back to the show me what's behind. So that's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. What do you think? 
I want one. <laughs> yeah, man, I love I love this system. You know, it just gives me a little bit more confidence. Yeah. If you actually look and look at what I'm looking at back there, mm -hmm. I can see a little bit of the road, but I can't see if a car is right behind me. Yes. So you know? especially us, me and Florence, when we travel, yeah. you know, we do a lot of boondocking. You, mm -hmm. we park on, you know, our best friend's property, Cracker yeah. Barrel. Yeah. You know, night. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, know, we've done that too. Yeah, they're nice enough to let us park there, but. Yeah. At night, you can't see the outside without, you know, looking out the window. But if you have that, then you can go ahead and check the surrounding areas. Yeah, it makes it so much easier Actually, for you yeah. to maneuver around and uh, and do things. It's very, very useful for looking at what's around you, right? It's not gonna. You still have to use your mirrors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you still have to be real, super careful and use your mirrors and do the right thing. But I think that this really, really helps a lot. Now you see, as I'm going on the brake here, it's flashing um, and showing different sizes. I, I don't know if there's a fix for that outside of us just straight up getting the, um, like connecting it to the right thing, man, which is probably what we need to do there, right? We probably need to connect this to the- Headlight. To the, to the headlights. Yeah. It's probably the better thing for us to do. Absolutely. So what's the things that we wish we could change? I wish we could do better. Um, on on our install side or is it from um, RVS? I think from our side we should have gone to the headlights but we were worried about like going into the headlights, Kyle and I, like how complicated is it? Uh -huh. You know, am I going to mess up something going into the headlights? Mm -hmm. um, so that that's something we could have done better. On um, RVS's side, I think they've done a good job um, I wish that there was a way to save the videos that you need from the time from from yeah, without taking out the SD card yeah from That's their something. from that available a uh, USB port yeah that would be cool I know you could do updates right yes yeah yes, do updates. Updates, yeah and you can connect to this system it's really like a little computer back there that is correct uh, I believe what's it running off of Linux it is what well, yes it it, it, yeah. it was Linux yeah. So what would you change? What For me? You, yeah. I don't know. Probably if they went ahead and and had that uh, SIM card for cellular data mm -hmm. enabled on that one. You'd I, like that? Absolutely, because if you're out of the van, out and about doing yeah, something if you're else, at work or something. Yeah, you, you can monitor your van. van. You yeah. look at it. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's probably yeah. a good thing. Yeah. And I think that's why they were putting the system in there for for, for future uh, commercial fleets mm -hmm. that want to check up on their drivers. Yes. But I think when I asked about that, they said that's a privacy issue for a lot of the fleets ah. that they can't actually check up on their drivers all the time like that. Okay. okay. So they don't know if it's worth it to do. I think it's good as a security system mm -hmm. after the fact, but maybe for personal people like us, our van it would be life. great if we can always check on our van. <laughs> Absolutely. And also, yeah. I think they're planning to to mix that together where in that cellular data mm -hmm. will also act as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool to see something like that. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the other things that I would really want. I think the bird's eye view thing is a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. Um, and I really appreciate it. Now, I think if a company like Coachman or any other company out there install this, they'll make it'll be great to get the icon on top of it to mm -hmm. look exactly like your van. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a way we could do that. Like if we get that picture, we could put it there and then they could look like, you know, the solar panels or whatever yeah, we have yeah. up there. But that's cosmetic. I don't know if that's really that big of a deal um, you know for something that people want to have like I'm happy just to be able to see right now I'm in the middle of the road you see it I'm in the middle of the road <laughs> I go over to the road you see it here it's a little bit it's a little bit off because it's adjusted but it's pretty good pretty good and then as I pull in here um, let's say I'm indicating pulling in I'm seeing that side but when I go on the brake it does the flashing thing that doesn't really matter to me though so now I'm going in through the gate. This is where I use it all the time. Because I don't know, like, man, how close am I to the gate, right? And I could look at that and go, okay, I'm good. I'll be able to creep in here and not um, 
not scratch up. You know, a big place this really helps me is um, is when we're in gas stations. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, I really appreciate it when we're in gas stations and I'm, you know, thinking about man, because I, I remember I had a, a old RV before. And the first thing I did when I went to get gas was scratch the living daylights out of the side. I had like a 1980 Champion a long time ago. I didn't really drive it that much because it was just too, it was just too big and cumbersome and nowhere near as easy to drive as this. So um, yeah, I think that's something that I appreciate. As a matter of fact, here what I'm going to do before we wrap this up, I'm actually going to back this in over here by where we have our 30 amp plug there you go um and i'm going to show everyone us doing that and i could do that without even really looking behind me man because i could see everything that i'm doing so i'm doing this really fast i can see i need to go over this side a little bit there we go and then i need to come over I'm impressed with this system, man. I think this is like... It's a big improvement. It's a must-have for me. See the side of the building? I can see the side of that building oh, wow. as I'm pulling up next to it with the bird's eye view. And like I go, okay. It looks like a drone is taking the yeah. video. Yeah. So I could park right there. All right. So listen. Stay right there. We're going to come back here in a second. Um, and we're going to wrap this video up from the outside. All right. So there you guys go. Wrap up wise, what do we want everyone to know out there about this Rodell? If it's gonna be a, uh, you're concerned about security issues, if you're mm. out and about and mm -hmm. you wanna protect your investment, I yeah. think it's a very good device to have. Yeah, um, I think it might help you in an insurance thing oh, yeah. as well, uh, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, uh -huh. I think it's great for us as RVers and mm -hmm. probably really good for people who are working and driving around in these vans mm -hmm. working so they don't damage people's stuff like you're saying they don't damage the van or whatever happens they can prove it mm -hmm. and then all of that goes for us also um, the install was kind of difficult yes because it's the first one and uh, yeah. we don't know pretty much what we're doing right <laughs> <laughs> yeah we yeah. still don't know but we I think it's relatively easy to do it. I wish that RBS, we were talking about mm -hmm. uh, uh, what we wish they would have done. They need more videos. That is correct. So if you compare the unit that I have over there for my dash cam, mm -hmm. small little bitty thing on the windshield, mm -hmm. that one right there is the best one to get to. So you have a yeah. bonus for recording the front. Yes. Yeah, that would be... It acts as a dash cam too. Yes. So you have all of that kind of stuff. But overall, I think it's a really good system, uh, worth the money. Um, it's something that I would like to have in a big van like this uh, mm -hmm. for lots of different reasons. So I do want to thank Rodell of Typhoon Adobo as well as my friend Kyle mm -hmm. for coming down here and helping me uh, put this up. And then your friend Chris helped us, Chris, right? Chris, yep. Shout Big to, shout, shout out. out to him. Yeah, we can't, we can't miss him. Make sure you go to Typhoon Adobo on YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. He's got a lot of knowledge on this. If you want to know more about this build... That's the dude to talk to, <laughs> yep. okay? He's going to help you more than me. You can ask me. It's all good. Um, RVS, the guys from RVS are really great, too. They they um, spent a lot of time talking to us on the phone. Absolutely. Yeah, all mm -hmm. of that. So I, I really don't have any complaints about them. It w I think it would be cool if they do some more videos and things like that. Yep. Whatever. That's all good. Um, so make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Check him out. Subscribe here as well. Uh, big thanks to Carl, Chris, yourself, um, everyone that helped out with this, the dudes over at RVS. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you guys watching this. If you have questions and comments, leave them. Thank you for having us for the weekend. Same here, Good man. Food. It was fun. It was yep. fun. Yep. These guys had us on the weekend when I'm we were best. out there. Absolutely. They spoiled. They spo <laughs> I almost moved out of my house and moved in over there <laughs> Rodell man he could cook some food <laughs> yeah he's yep. good he's good yep. all right we'll see you guys we're out of here peace